All right, gather around for a tale of corporate comedy featuring our protagonist, Annixter, in the wild west of data cabling. Picture it, 1989, a world where high-speed internet was as fast as a snail on a leisurely stroll. And data cables were more unpredictable than a soap opera plot. Enter Annixter, our valiant hero, armed with the revolutionary Levels program to distinguish between data rate speeds. It was like giving glasses to the nearsighted. Suddenly, the world of cabling could see. This program wasn't just a list of specs. It was a beacon of hope, a promise of a future where your internet didn't buffer every five seconds, and the ability to distinguish between cable types. But oh, the drama that unfolded. Annixter's levels became the talk of the town, the bayonets of the cabling world. Everybody wanted a piece of this action. Level this, level that, they said. The name was used more than password as an actual password. Here's where the plot thickens. Annixter, noticing their precious levels in the hands of every Tom, Dick, and Harry, turned into the trademark police. You can't use levels. That's ours, they cried, waving copyright flags like they were at a medieval joust. The industry, caught like a deer in the headlights, had a collective uh-oh moment. They needed a new name, something that said fast, reliable, and not going to get us sued. And so, in a stroke of genius, or perhaps just wanting to avoid Annixter's legal knights, they coined the term category cables. Cat 5, Cat 6, Cat 7. It was like a feline fashion show, but for cables. Thus, Annixter's zealous copyright crusade inadvertently gave life to the category era. Imagine this. You invent a sensational new dance move called a twisty wiggle. It becomes an overnight sensation. Everyone's doing the twisty wiggle at parties, weddings, even in supermarket aisles. But then you jump in, waving your copyright flag, shouting, no, 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 only I can twisty wiggle. The world, now deprived of their beloved dance name, is in a dilemma. Then in a flash of brilliance, they came up with a new name, the Funky Shuffle. It's so similar, but legally distinct enough to keep the copyright lawyers at bay. So while you're left guarding your twisty wiggle, Everyone else is happily shuffling away with a funky shuffle, and it becomes the new craze. And that, folks, is how the hilariously twisted tale of how Annixter, while trying to protect their levels program, accidentally pushed everyone into the arms of category. It's a story of legal eagles, cabling cowboys, and the birth of a name that would become as iconic in the networking world as Control-Alt-Delete is to a frozen computer.